we've been curious about the morale with the team. It's been a couple of you know tough losses, um, but a bye week comes with the time to you know give you guys at least a week to try and turn things around. How are you guys feeling? Oh, we feel good. We feel like uh, we know where we want. We still know where we want to go. No matter what has happened in the past, no matter what happened in the past weekend, the past four games, we know we're still where we want to go, and we're looking forward to going that step in that direction. When you got the news on Sunday, were you were you surprised with, with the news uh, that you when you found out that coach had stepped down, Coach Thompson? Um, I think anybody would be surprised. Uh, it was it was it was kind of sudden. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't. I'm not going to speculate into why he did it. It was, it was his decision to do, but but it, uh, but we just had to move forward and look ahead and keep and keep on moving as a team and uh, and keep striving to where we want to, to get where we want to go. Can change sometimes be a good thing in, in some ways? Uh, every day is a new opportunity. So no matter what happens, you got to just roll with the punches and and, uh, and just look toward the future and, and just and just try to build. And, and come better and come brighter and come more enthusiastic every day, no matter what happens, no matter you, what things you can't control. How much better can this defense be from what we've seen so far? Uh, probably about 180, if you can say. Uh, I mean, it's, it's we, uh, we we played the four games, but, but but our goal is still to win conference. So, I mean, we still have, we have this bye week to get everybody right and to get everybody doing what we need to do. And it's just a, it's just a mindset we just had to get right. And uh, and I think and I think we all on the same page. I think we all want to buy in and get and do what we have to do to uh, to turn it around. And what, what's the biggest thing you expect to see from uh, the veteran James on the defensive side? Um, I think I just think that uh, that we're gonna be probably more enthusiastic, have more energy, uh, make less like, make less excuses as a defense. We're just gonna and we're just gonna do our best just to. Like I say, like I keep saying, we just move forward with with the with the with the right mentality, and the right enthusiasm and right energy. How is Coach Fran different from uh, Coach Thompson? Uh, I think he, I think he well he's younger for one, you know, so you know that that does come with the, the energy that 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 it, with youth, you know, uh, and, I, and I think he he's ambitious and he wants to get it done. He wants to get it. He wants to get it right. Is uh, do you kind of look at this new, as a new season coming up? Uh, the, you know, the, kind of putting non-conference play behind you, and the conference being a, a new chance and a new start to, to the season. Yeah, yeah, that's why they call it non-conference preseason. Uh, this is this is the season. This is the game. These are the games that matter as far as championships go, as far as as far as doing the things that we wanted to do, and the goals we set at the beginning of the season. Do you expect your role to change any with uh, the new team? No, I uh, still I'm still gonna be playing high safety, and we're still gonna have 11 defensive players on the field doing doing their 111. Coach Friend has had um, success with the linebackers before. Do you, do you feel like your teammates have, have been trusting him a lot more now? Um, I just think that that uh, him being a linebackers coach is gonna just make the whole defense more centralized. It's just like because the linebacker. Uh, core is is the center of the core of the defense, and so it's just gonna like put, probably put everybody in, in sync with uh with the whole defense and what needs to be going on as far as fits and everything goes.